Hello there, everybody. I'm Brandon Weil of Fuzzy Walls Mastering and a drummer who has a tendency to break things. That being the case, over the years, I've grown very accustomed to replacing broken equipment. Not long ago, my 18-inch Zildjian A Custom Crash took a dip in overall volume and tone, and when I looked at it a little bit closer, I saw cracks in the cymbal. No. Although I've always loved the sound of the Zildjian A Custom, and I have been a loyal Zildjian fan over the years, I felt that this was a great opportunity for me to try something new and give my drum set, say, a new edge. So the crash that I'd be replacing is what I would consider my main crash here, primarily used for big downbeat accents. So I was looking for something that had fullness, character, power, and beauty. So I grabbed my mask, coated myself in hand sanitizer, and went out to try some new cymbals. So after hitting on several different crash cymbals at a few different stores around town, I noticed that there were two that really stuck out to me, and both of them happened to be of the Istanbul brand. The first one was an 18-inch Agop Exist Medium Thin Crash Cymbal. The other one was an 18-inch Agop Traditional Dark Crash. I found it interesting that when I hit the cymbals alone on the rack, the Medium Thin Exist sounded a little bit more to me like what I would be going for. But when I did take them off the rack, put them on the drum set that they had there at the store, and played both, the Traditional Dark Crash was obviously the winner. It also sounds big and emphatic, without those super bright highs, which is exactly what Istanbul must have been going for. And this puts a big smile on my face when I just smash it with the intent of emphasizing a particular part of the song, or just a particular part of my beat. I could go on, but we feel it's more important for you to hear for yourself, so check this out. So now that you've heard it for yourself, I'd like to go ahead and turn it over to John for his two cents from the studio. Oh, hi there. The audio samples you just heard were recorded using a very minimalistic setup so that we can all get a really nice and clear picture of how the cymbal really sounds. Listening back here in the studio confirms exactly what I've heard in person and at band practice. This cymbal is very balanced and well controlled. It has some volume and cut to it, but it's certainly not harsh or overly bright like a lot of crashes can be. The attack is just enough for a rock group, and there's a really nice whoosh or bloom there that sounds very musical and pleasing to my ears. There's also a good amount of sustain, but it seems to roll off evenly rather than choking off suddenly or hanging on forever. Using the spectrogram in Isotope RX, we can see the linear fade of frequencies on each cymbal hit, and I notice a lack of significant energy above the initial peak there, around 5 kHz. I think this illustrates the smooth decay and lack of bright overtones happening here. And again, using our spectrum analyzer, we can see the energy peak seems to be centered right around 5 to 6 kHz and decays evenly, pointing towards a cymbal that's quite balanced in most respects, never crunchy, 
and always goes down smooth. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel, click that little like button, and when you've got that final mix ready, Fuzzy Walls Mastering will be standing by.